What's up guys, Solar here from Pixie Tuts. Today I'm showing you guys how to run a separate power supply for a graphics card. This is a very good tutorial for those who have a stock computer, such as an HP, a Dell, or a Compaq for that matter, or even a Gateway, and you have a stock power supply, usually about 200 to 300 watts of power. Graphics cards, like the one I'm going to be using today, such as the EVGA G4 9800 GTX, an older modern graphics card, does require about 105 watts of power. And while my machine running the i7-2600K processor requires all of the 300 watts included with the power supply. So how do you run this graphics card in it? Well, what you need is a separate power supply. This is a 500 watt power supply by Cooler Master. This should do fine. A couple of things are required to do before installing the graphics card and the power supply in your stock computer. Cables coming out from the power supply. There's one main one, which is the power uh, for the motherboard. It should be the largest connector with 24 pins in total. Now, I'm not really into a electrician purposes, however, I did realize online that there's one main thing that you have to do before you actually short out your motherboard, or power supply, rather. Um, there is a green cable and a few black cables on the connector, and you notice that there's multiple black uh, cables, and like I stated, only one green cable. You'll need to use a small piece of wire. I used a simple paper clip, and set the paper clip to the the pins that are connecting the green and the black like so determine how many six pin connectors you need majority of graphics cards only utilize two this power supply only came with one six pin connector so you might need to order more parts such as converters that will use extra ones that you have to make it into the six pin connector now take the appropriate connectors and plug them in to your graphics card and here is the second 6-pin connector. Once you have that set up, plug your graphics card in to the PCI Express port on your motherboard. Set it to the proper switch toggle. It's usually 115. Since one power supply is not powering all the components in your computer, and you have a second power supply for your graphics card, you have to turn on this power supply first, and then turn on the rest of your computer. If you follow those steps correctly, you should have a graphics card, powered by a second power supply, and you can continue your gaming. This has been Solar from Pace Stats. Peace out, guys.